Welcome to New Jersey Now. I'm Mark Bonamo. Today, a look back at the top political stories of 2022. Here with me now, Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman, Dan Casino, executive director of the Fairleigh Dickinson University poll, Democratic strategist Brendan Gill, and Terrence McDonald, editor of the New Jersey Monitor. So as we started off 2022, we just came off the 2021 gubernatorial election. Governor Murphy achieves a very narrow victory over Republican challenger Jack Cittarelli. You increasingly see in both his state, his budget, his inaugural address, Governor Murphy in talking about kitchen table issues, talking about the pandemic. Why do you think he changed his tune? A couple of things happened. One is that Democrats lost uh, some seats in the legislature that they weren't expecting to lose. And I think that spooked him and them a little bit. Two, I think that the Murphy people would probably argue that they haven't really changed their tune. I think maybe they have a tiny bit. Things that they highlighted a little bit before, maybe they're highlighting a lot more now. But look, he has designs on higher office, obviously. So he wants to make sure that voters in the state know that he's talking about these issues that are the hot button issues now. Brenda, do you think he's potentially retooling what he's talking about, not just for a state audience, but for a national audience? I actually agree with Terrence. I mean, the retooling, Maybe a little bit more subtle. Um, and again, I think uh, what the governor has talked about is what he's been talking about all along, fully funding and supporting our public schools, investment in infrastructure, growing our jobs, having a competitive economy, fairer and stronger. These are all things that have been consistent themes uh, since 2017. I think the election results in 2021... I-